Hi everyone, Ellie High Street here. Hope you're having an excellent afternoon and are excited for conference that starts tomorrow for the South Dakota EMS Association. I've had some questions come through about how to access guidebook on your desktop computer, your laptop computer, your home computer, or your computer at work. And I just wanted to go through those steps really quickly with everyone. At the top of this page, you'll see this URL. And that is the website that is custom for conference. Do not worry about writing that down. I will include that in the, in the body of the email I'm going to send to you. So you wanna click on that link in that body of the email and it'll show you the screen. Here is where you enter your email address as you registered for conference, because that is the one I've been communicating with you to, and um, that's the one that we have you registered as. I know that there's been some changes and adjustments, and hopefully we've been able to troubleshoot all of those. After you enter in your email address, you quickly, or you, uh, quickly hit continue, and I am going to share another screen here real quick, because I want you to see what the email looks like that you get. So you will then get an email sent to you that looks like this. And this is where you would want to um, make sure that you check your spam. It comes from guidebook.bot at guidebook.com. The title of the email is log into guidebook. It's only good for 30 minutes. So you wanna make sure that you have the right one. Now I have done this um, test here a few times. So I am going to actually make sure I have the right one and open up my email inbox and here it is. So again, you click on that email, Make sure that you have the most up-to-date one because we all forget passwords and all of that good jazz and phone could have rang, so you might have had a distraction. At this time, literally hit the, the continue button, the big blue button at the bottom. I'm going to share that screen to make sure that you see what I see. And when you hit submit on your email, you will get this screen. This is your user profile here for the guidebook application. In the right-hand corner, you'll see that I'm logged in. You don't have to log in again. You don't have to worry about it. If you've already logged in through guidebook or if you've received the invitation from us, you will be set. You log in here. Now, this is where some, some of the troubleshooting has come up. At the top of the screen here, it says download the guide. Do not click on that. It's confusing. It's confusing for me as well. In order to access the guide and the schedule, look at the vendors, look at the sponsors, and view who the speakers are, you simply just scroll down. And all of that information is right here for you. So you wanna, wanna scroll down. Something that's been coming up too, and this just kind of depends on the area of the state that you're in. I live in a very small uh, rural community as well. So I, I have spotty internet, just like everyone. And what's been happening is the schedule section when people are downloading the guide, to view it on their desktop, their laptop, their, their home computer, or their work computer, it's just spinning and there's three dots on the top of it. Um, just give it a second. If that doesn't work, it's the old uh, refresh button that you wanna hit up here again, just to refresh the guide because sometimes it just, it lit see you're seeing it right here right now um, where things were loading because we have a lot of great, excellent content in here. We have the 20 educational sessions, they have videos. A lot of our speakers have provided their PDF of their PowerPoint. We just have a lot of content. So depending on where you are in the state, your download time might be slower. That's totally, um, just totally what's gonna be, what's gonna happen. So you'll have to be patient and, and bear with them on that. Now, the question has come up of how do I access the Zoom link that will be for each session? You simply click on the schedule item and you'll see this is an example right here of the Zoom link for tonight's uh, executive council meeting for the South Dakota EMSA uh, board. So the information will be in every session for security reasons, we're not releasing that stuff except for the day of the conference. So here's a good example of where you'll see how it's not in there yet. This is actually one of our um, presentations that is going to be happening, oops, excuse me, tomorrow. And you'll see this um, play button at the top. Most of the sessions we're going to be having that you'll be seeing have already been pre-recorded. And we wanted to try to cut down on technological possible glitches, all that good jazz. So every day, at the beginning of the day, the videos that we have record pre-recorded are going to be activated through YouTube and you'll see the link here at the bottom. So you can then uh, click on the, the session that's been pre-recorded. The speakers will be available again um, during the sessions, but we wanted to do that in case there's some technological glitch because 
We are in 2020 after all. So what you'll see here for this individual session, the description of the session, you see the speakers. Now here's the very, very important fact that we all need to remember. In each session, every single day, there is going to be a section for surveys. These are not preloaded in here yet because we want to make sure that you attend the session. If you can't attend in person the next uh, few days during conference when it's live, you can go back and watch the pre-recorded session and they're going to be right in here where the videos are. You'll want to make sure that you have um, that, that you always look for the survey. That's how we're going to be able to pass along your information to make sure that you get credit for the hours uh, for the sessions that you've attended. So hopefully this helps clear up some, um, some questions that people had. It's, it's gonna all be right in here. Again, be patient with your, your download times for where you live in your community. Um, the surveys will be in each individual session where they are um, have been approved for credit hours. So again, go through that. Zoom, Zoom links will be in these. Again, I'll show this example one more time. And we've listed a couple in here already. Um, this one that's happening tonight, and then um, one for Thursday as well. Um, but just wanted to make sure that people, you know, were able to, to click on that and um, feel comfortable with, with how to access the information. Again, if you have questions, respond to this email, um, the email address that I'm going to send to you here in a few minutes. And uh, we look forward to making sure everyone has a great user experience and a great conference here. And thank you again so much for registering. We have well over 400 people now and super excited about that. And just really um, thank you for, for taking the time and want to make sure that you get those hours. So uh, any questions, again, send an email back and we'll respond as fast as we can. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.